My name is Robert Day, and I served in the British Army in World War II. I was around about 21. No one really thought about going to war. No one thought about it, and we were called up. Of course, in those days, we did as we were told, you know, the youngsters. We sailed up to Port Tufik, Egypt. From there, we joined the unit, the tanks, took our vehicles, and we went off into the Western Desert. Yes. And of course, the war itself was uh, fought out by German tanks and our tanks. And of course, my role was in uh, ensuring that there were enough spares uh, in the unit so that if any of our tanks were knocked out, we had enough spares for our engineers to go to fit the tank. I'm not an excitable person, but it, but it was excitable to be uh, suddenly asked if I wanted to go back to another man. My father rang me one morning to say that he'd had a phone call from the big lottery fund and that they had this award which he was eligible to apply for, which was offering all soldiers the opportunity to return to the field of battle. And with my father, I have visited the battlefields of North Africa, El Alamein and Mesamatru. I never realised so many people died in, in the war. It was the cenotaph on which was inscribed all the names of the boys who actually died in the Western Desert. And uh, not only were the names inscribed on the wall, but there was a tombstone for every single person. The sight of those, you know, just lines and lines of tombstones, which are, and that was when I learned about these, the tombstones that's been placed together, are uh, people that were blown up together so they couldn't be identified separately. They're uh, buried together. That's the crowd, and that's the sad bit. And the thing that really got to me was uh, 21 years of age, 22 years of age. Young blokes. It's quite, quite an emotional experience, because so the last time that whole area was just sand hills. In those conditions, you don't obviously think of just uh, what you're looking at, you know. It, takes your memory back because uh, you remember the guys you were uh, at war with. I think it is really important to remember war. You, you've got to remember a waste of life. Uh, and Alamein especially. I think every day uh, I really have a little part of it. It was a memorable time when I was most, and it's an occasion I shall remember for the rest of my days.